Next, please. All right. I dig Montoya. Uh, Sometimes Montoya and I, we react off of each other's content. Uh, This one, I I don't want to so much react off of this. I just want to mention it and talk about how positive this is for the project. And it's $21 that Cloud Imperium has brought in May which is like a phenomenal record breaking number it's it's amazing and it's i think and i don't know what montoya is going to say we're going to watch a little bit of this but i personally think it is from the amount of people coming to the project because bigger youtubers with millions of subscribers are starting to play star citizen like jack frag somebody we just watched and i think they're going to beat the total of uh 2021's numbers and, uh, you know, like we, we went over the profit and loss in 2020 that they just reported because it's always like a year or so behind. And the P&L showed a profit for the very first time. I was super geeked for that. I've been waiting a long time for them to post a profit. A lot of people are telling me, no, it's not important because they're a tech company. And tech companies, really traditionally and historically speaking, aren't supposed to report any profits. Well, that's good to a point. You know, that's good to a point. I understand that line of thinking. You know, if you if you are somebody who participates in the market, you get that about the larger tech corporations. Amazon ran that way for a long time. Uh, Google ran that way for a long time. A lot of tech names in the NASDAQ, they operate that way. I get it. But, you know, when you want to qualify a business in terms of how their credit is, how healthy they are, when a financial analyst, whereas traders, we call them analysts, look at these companies, they're looking for the actual forward growth the earnings they're looking for that pe ratio and so i'm very happy to see them report a profit it's it's a move in the right direction you know you could disagree with me and say that it's not an important factor when when you're trying to legitimize biz, a business i think it is and i think they're going to do it again uh when they report the pno for the following year and i think they're going to break crazy records here and then they're going to push money into further expansion of cloud imperium Hopefully Squadron 42 can come out at, the, at that same particular amount of, t- uh, amount of time. And hopefully what ends up happening is that it brings additional revenue stream into Cloud Imperium and that it's successful. Who knows? I mean, it's a gamble. Squadron 42 is a gamble, but it would be nice if they, if they brought in some money from this considering the expense that they put out getting all these professional actors. <laughs> I mean, that was probably one of their biggest expenses. But let's watch what Montoya has to say about it, and uh, I'll comment along the way if I have anything else to add. Welcome back to the channel. $21 million. Let me do it this way. $21 million raised for Star Citizen from the Invictus Free Fly event they just finished. This is, once again, record-breaking for this time of year. In fact, every single month, every single month since the beginning of the year, has been a record-breaking month. Again, January, I think February, because of larger March, YouTubers. April, May, all record breaking months, which it baffles my mind to see these kind of numbers come into this game. And obviously, it's uh, it's very reassuring that uh, this level of funding continues uh, because seeing what they're building in Manchester with massive offices, you go, yeah, these guys need to bring in the money. And they're doing it. Yeah. They're doing it. 21 million in a single month, only matched by November of last He's year. He's not lying, you know. So keep in mind, just gotta be careful of expenses. we're just halfway through the year. And we're it, doing uh, good. I, I don't want them to get a little too gluttonous here. This looks here. like it will be the year that Star Citizen does one hundred million How you doing, buddy? dollars in crowdfunding, which is <laughs> Star just mind blowing. Oh my god, my stomach is, is gurgling. I'm sorry if the mic button. is picking that up. And rightfully I'm so. so. Look, hungry. the game is uh, hungry, unique. Boy. It is pretty. It is special. <laughs> it's very special, and even the more what special the people are still playing it, <laughs> putting us through. <laughs> He's been with this project a long time. You can tell, man. You can tell who the veterans of Star Citizen are, man. I mean, we've been through it. We have been through it. Up and down and up and down. It's a crazy roller coaster, man. He's just he's just like, wow, man. Like, listen, I think many of us who started this project, a lot of us are just like really have something in us that are like, yeah, this is this is we're gonna push through. We're gonna push through, we're gonna get this done. Uh I, I think you can see that in, in content creators content you know people that are here even uh noob and and um execute 
Uh, and, and I'm not quite sure about star streams, but we're going to go over to his channel a little bit later and check him out uh, as a new uh, streamer to the mix that I thought was pretty interesting, who I'm going to show you guys, uh, showcase here on the channel, help him get some traffic over there. This is what we do here on DG360, try to help people out. Uh, but I, I really always felt like when I started this journey that it, we're going to get to the end somehow. And it, it's we're still here, you know. And, and that's the thing. As much as we're in the ups or as much as we're in the downs, whatever stage we're at, we're still here. We're following it. And it's it's just one hell of a journey, man. This is this makes Lord of the Rings look like a a, a child's book, <laughs> you know. Like this is like this makes Lord of the Rings. This whole project compared to Lord of the Rings, like the the entire trilogy and the prequel, if you include the Hobbit, which is like fifteen hundred some pages, uh, it's pretty impressive to look at when you're looking at it in physical form as books. Uh, this whole project makes that look like green eggs and ham. It makes it look like a Dr. Seuss book. That's how I feel. Like this project has been just voluminous, voluminous. That's a word, right, Pepe? Thank you. The pain, which was the last event of the servers. Um, so if you survived the servers last week, the last two weeks, uh, rest assured that now that the traffic has eased up, it will be getting a bit better and it will be uh, almost playable to the point where the elevators <laughs> will not be killing you. But uh, obviously very exciting and very relieving to see that uh, this is where the funding is. Largely due, I feel, to the influx of new people coming into the game. There he goes. Yep. Um, we, we often agree YouTubers about YouTubers like Jack Frags, yep. Level Boom. Cap, these big plus go. one million subscriber plus. So there we go. Montoya and I agree. I think that's all we need to watch. You know, like, there. that's that's my opinion uh, as to this whole, this whole project we call Star Citizen. Looks like Montoya is kind of in alignment with why the people are coming in and how that money's blowing up um and that's pretty usual montoya kind of and i tend to align sometimes at least in the business sense of cloud imperium uh we we tend to kind of align in terms of how we view things in terms of the cloud imperium business model not so much always on on game elements or game design or game development but uh definitely when it comes to the business model so if you guys don't aren't aware of who Montoya is, you know I, I think he makes pretty decent content. Uh, he's got more subscribers than I do, but I'd still help him out. Um, let's like that video. Go over there, subscribe to Montoya, and uh, seems like a pretty nice guy. Probably a nice, genuine dude in real life. Just pretty straight shooter and just says it like it is sometimes. Although he he can get like a little white knightish, but you know we won't fault him for that. I mean, you know he's just super passionate about the project, and that's where that comes out. You know. So next one.